Wawan Squad, welcome back to another video and if you're new here, my name is V, welcome to the channel. I am niching down to beauty and lifestyle vlogs but I'm a random person so I post whatever I like. So if you'd like to see the randomness from me, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I wanted to get ready to film a video but I also wanted to try out Patrick Star's foundation powder. You guys know I'm not somebody who puts on makeup and go out. To me, it's just a, a fun pastime so anytime when I'm feeling low I normally just plain makeup which is one of the reasons why I'm doing this today and I'll be trying out Patrick Patrick stars foundation powder but first let's just prep my skin I did pick up the Mario Badescu skincare facial spray I see mixed reviews about this actually but it's people talking about I want to spray it but I don't want to spray it in my mouth hold on Cause it's new, it's new. Whew. And I'll just press that in my skin. A lot of people have bad reviews about it, saying that it does nothing for your skin. But for a facial mist, I feel like it you have to follow up with some sort of moisturizer or primer over it. You can't just use it as a refresher just like that. It'll, it will do nothing for your skin. So I'm just gonna follow up with my Bear With Me Hydrating Jelly Primer over that obviously because i will be using foundation i love to moisturize i don't like looking dry and ashy and look like a chartboard speaking of <laughs> let me moisturize my lips i am gonna just quickly fill in my brows i'm not gonna do anything heavy i'm not putting on any like heavy makeup this is just gonna be something very simple for me to film my next video is just perfect for me to actually just see if I could lighten up my face a little bit, you know? I'm sorry. I'm just gonna fill in my brows with my handy dandy oops, BH Cosmetics Ultimate Brow Palette. I'm going in with the black powder and just lightly filling in my brows. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this brow that I'm currently on is my favorite brow. I feel like it's just perfect and the other one it can pass but it's just doing stuff that I don't like it to do even though the shape is not that much different from this one but it's just doing something I don't like what it's doing <laughs> but as they say eyebrows are sisters not twins I don't think I really need to line my brows but because I'm gonna use a concealer just to even out the skin tone around my eyes. I'm just gonna go in with my NYX Conceal Correct and Contour palette and just fix up under the brows and I'm gonna bring that down over the eyes and just blend that so that everything just looks seamless. I want you guys to get excited because I am now planning my Halloween videos and I really, 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 really want to be able to get that completely done for October. I attempted it last year, it didn't go so well. I got really weak because of Thanksgiving and I thought I had that whole week to film multiple videos and be able to edit and post them for the last 13 days of October. That never worked out because assignment just, you know, people on the con and jump out at me. So I never got to do that at all. <laughs> but you know, that's fine, that's fine. This is my Morphe Make It Big Bold Mascara. I'm just gonna put that on my lashes and then we can move on to the face. So what I'm not entirely sure in regarding to using powder, do you use your cream concealer first to highlight and then the powder use, sets it and actually adds to your skin? I don't know, I feel like that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline It's an Adrienne Wine Concealer. This is in the color Tan. And I'm just going to put it where I normally highlight and then maybe the foundation powder will set that. And now we're just gonna get into the foundation powder. So again, this is Patrick Star's One Size Turn Up The Base Versatile Foundation Powder. I actually saw a small video with somebody doing this and I was going through my phase where I needed uh, like retail therapy 
so i also picked this up to try it out with the products that i bought last time you guys can go ahead and check out that video in the right hand corner of the screen it says it's a medium to full coverage powder foundation that helps blur unwanted texture and the appearance of pores while controlling shine shine is not a problem for me because i have dry skin buttery and buildable this comfortable wear formula settles softly onto the skin for a velvet matte finish can be used to blot set and touch up skin it's non-caking and perfect for daily use using the powder brush or our ultimate puff apply the product on textured areas that are oily discolored and uneven build to desired finish this is in the color dark 4g for darker golden undertones i did show you guys the packaging when i did oh my fingerprints are all over it and it don't even look cute hold on so i did show you guys the packaging when i was tro showing you what i had got in the haul it's pretty easy to open it just has the this mechanics here oops the plastic just fell out it does have a mirror and that is the color 4g which it looks light so i don't even know if this is the right shade but we are gonna find out today so i went to the dollar store and i picked up a powder puff and i'm just grabbing my powder brush to also apply i'm gonna do half and half to see if there's a difference in how it applies to the skin right now my skin is technically smooth i have minimal pores but i do have a few breakouts so you'll be able to see if they cover that up i uh, don't even you know if you guys can actually see them on camera there's more on this side than there is on this side but i am gonna use the powder puff on this side of my face and i'm gonna use the powder brush on this side of my face um again let me just repeat i am using dark 4g i'm going in with the powder brush it takes up quite a few just take one pad and then let me see if i can just put in my skin okay i can see the product so i don't know if this is gonna be too dark for me or if it's too light for me I don't know it says it's buildable which I can see that and you can see it on my forehead and I just want to see if it's actually covering my dark spots down here really and truly it actually doesn't look so bad I feel like it's slightly darker however on me but it's Definitely wearable. Let me just pull that down. I'm also gonna go over my eyes because concealer is on my eyes, so I'll set that as well. I mean, it's not bad. Like, it's not giving me any like discoloration or anything like that. And it does say that it is buildable. Um, I don't know how much it's covering my dark spots because I can still see it. So I'll add a little bit more, and I'll just continue padding that to blend that out. But it's giving me a little bit of coverage but i definitely feel like you have to build up a lot more it's a slight difference shade in my actual skin tone you can actually see that but regardless it's still very wearable like this is not giving me shocking <laughs> um way off base color beat so it does give me a very cool look on that side of my face so i don't know you guys can tell me what you think if it's a little bit too dark for me but i feel like it's very wearable it's not giving me heavy makeup at all which is good i'm gonna go ahead and apply it with the brush on this side and see how it works oh it actually comes out very powdery so you have to take your time and dip your brush or your powder puff in it because you actually get some powder like it flick up i don't know if you guys if you can stop focus on me i don't know if you guys can actually see the powder dropping off because i i come like this I, I was dabbing it like this in the powder pan so you probably want to be careful so you don't that's where your product so I build up the coverage to see it covers my dark spots and it does. This is my take on it. It gives you a very cool complexion, which I, I do appreciate and that's what really powder and blotting does. So I don't have any shine or anything, but again, I feel like it is just like slightly darker than my skin tone. It did cover my blemishes 
and uneven skin tone and stuff i feel like it does give me a very smooth texture on my face so so far those boxes are ticked the only issue is i have is that i feel like it's just slightly darker than my skin tone but very much wearable i'm just gonna grab my phone and take a picture and see how it actually looks this lighting it, it's giving me very cool vibes and it's not it doesn't look off match at all i'll just quickly show you guys on my phone screen it doesn't look off match at all like this actually is it, this is actually pretty good i'm not gonna lie Oh, and I did match on the side because it asked me what foundation color do I normally wear, I believe. And it matched me to that color. So that's why I picked up that color, which I feel like it's it's perfectly fine. You guys can tell me what you think about the powder. Let me know if you you plan on trying it out or if you have any opinions about it if you've already purchased it. But this, this is very usable for me and I feel like this is something that I can use every single day for a light makeup i haven't done a wear test to see how long it lasts i will definitely come back and share my thoughts about it if i wear it outside in one of my other videos as always thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to bust a like on the video also subscribe down below and click the post notification bell to know whenever i do post a new video i'll see you guys in the next one bye